What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're going to be reviewing the Clear Rise Super Saiyan Gotenks. Before we dive into the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell, like the video, comment your thoughts down below for us to discuss, follow me on my socials, and consider becoming a YouTube member to enter into our monthly giveaways and Discord server so our community can help you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. This figure is based on Super Saiyan Gotenks from Dragon Ball Z. The figure seems based on Dragon Ball Z Chapter 288 when Gotenks fuses into a Super Saiyan for the first time. This figure is a Clear Eyes release which are prize slash crane figures released by Ben Presto slash Bandai Spirits that are translucent figures to emulate the cascading key that comes off of a character's body when transforming or exuding their aura. If you're interested in buying up this figure, you can check out the influencer links in my description below to help support me and pick them up. This figure was released on April 20th, 2023 in Japan. The figure stands at about six and a half inches tall, weighs 10.2 ounces in box, weighs 5.6 ounces on his own, and the figure comes whole with his support. All right, our next Clear Eyes review, returning again. Uh, and, you know, I'll say right off the bat, yep, Clear Eyes, Clear Eyes is good now, I think. Can I can I say Clear Eyes is good now? Because um, this is definitely much better than the initial Clear Eyes releases. Um, and, you know, with this and Trunks, I, I feel confident in saying, hey, if you're interested in Clear Eyes, some of the newer releases, I think you can confidently pick up. But before I get into all that, I do want to remind you guys that uh, I will be repackaging and reboxing this figure once this review is done. So it'll be pretty much like brand new and it's an original box. Um, if you uh, want to pick it up, it's going to be part of our upcoming giveaways. So if you do want to become a uh, part of that, just become a YouTube member. It's $3 a month. You'll get entered into each monthly giveaway each month that you renew. And that initial $3 that you become a member, you'll get permanent access to our Discord server with a really awesome community, awesome people in there. Um, so yeah, that is something just to keep in mind. But with all that stuff out of the way, uh, let's let's talk. Sorry, if you heard that, I was snapping at my dog. His allergies are going off. But uh, with all that out of the way, let's talk about this figure. Um, pretty cool. Uh, character choice. I'm going to give the character choice a 4 out of 5. Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we get so many Gotenks figures, not maybe, maybe not so many, but we get a lot. And I feel like they always do like Super Saiyan Gotenks or just base Gotenks. And I feel like his Super Saiyan 3 form is the more iconic uh, form for, for Gotenks. I think most people really appreciate Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I mean, in a lot of fighting games, that's how we usually see him in a lot of promotional art. So I wish that they would do a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks more often. Um, so in clear eyes, yeah, it's the first Gotenks, but do I do I make it a three out of five or a f I'm gonna keep it at a three out of five? I'm sorry, guys. I just I've reviewed a lot of different Gotenks figures in the past, and they're always in a Super Saiyan form. Bandai Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 3 Masterlies, Ma Masterlies. Anyways. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, his likeness though is perfect, absolutely perfect. They did a wonderful job. Same thing with like the trunks. He's got just a little bit of bolding around his eyes. They colored it really well. They added some anime lines above his eyes and under his eyes. They painted his smile on correctly. He just looks really really good in the face. They they absolutely nailed what Go Tanks is supposed to look like when he's in this form. So, fantastic job, Bandai. No, we are finally past the days where Clear Eyes has jank-looking faces, I hope. Um, with Between this and Trunks, I think we have hope for the future. So, um, absolutely perfect for his likeness. He looks exactly like Gotenks in the face. The only thing that I would say is, hey, why aren't his eyebrows translucent? But that's more of a sculpt issue, right? So, um, let's talk about the sculpt. 
Uh, I will give the sculpt a four out of five. Um, I think there's a few things to appreciate here. His hair sculpt is a little bit different. It almost look, look, looks like it's being blown to the side a little bit. And I think this is supposed to be him when he first turns into a Super Saiyan. Um, like they fuse and he's already a Super Saiyan. Um, or it's from his fight with Super Boo. Not sure. Pretty sure it's the former. But uh, I did notice his hair looks like it's kind of like blowing to the side. Um, so at certain angles, it might throw you off. But you kind of get used to it and realize, oh, he's just kind of, it's just kind of blowing his hair to a certain side. Um, so that's not so bad. Uh, and I like the fact that his belt sash is already on. It's not like separate. Every time a figure has a separate belt sash, it's the most finicky thing that if you just blow on it, it's going to fall off the figure no matter what it is. So I really hate it when they do that. And I prefer it when it's just on the figure already. So thank you so much for that Bandai. And of course his hair sculpt is painted on really nicely. That's the translucent piece. The bezels on his jacket are also translucent, which is an interesting choice. And everything below his waist is translucent except for his shoes. His support on his foot is also translucent, which I thought was an interesting choice. I, I hate the support though. It's just like this block that goes across his feet. So I really dislike that. Um, that's one of the biggest reasons why I knocked a point down um, from the sculpt quality itself. But it doesn't feel cheap. Clear Eyes seems to have really upped the quality. I do think it's weird that the bezels on his jacket are translucent, but that's the whole point of the series, so that's fine. Uh, I would have liked it if they made his eyebrows translucent as well, but it is what it is. So Sculpt is going to get a 4 out of 5. Paint and shading, nothing really to write home about here. He does look kind of flat, if I'm being honest, but um, obviously when you hold him up to the light, it's a little bit better, but uh, the translucency of him is actually a little more subtle than I expected. His hair is already so pale that it, it is kind of like hard to see like the, the big difference. And the bezels don't really glow all that much. Um, but he is pretty bright at the end of the day and it's not the worst thing in the world. So I'll give that a three out of five. It's not the worst, but uh, you know, uh, for clear eyes, I think that's still pretty solid. Where in the past I might've given it like a one or a two. Um, I still think he's pretty good. I don't think this figure really takes full advantage of the translucent thing behind clear eyes though, especially towards the top of his pants. It's like very dark and you can see the solid parts of it. So um, just kind of kind of odd uh, how they, they did that for this. But um, finally, we'll move on to size and scale. Size and scale I think is pretty good. Um, I think he's like the same size as the Super Vegeta. <laughs> that came out from from clear eyes so i it, it, if anybody can compare that in the comments because i don't have that super vegeta anymore that i reviewed um but you can check out you know my my old review that's on the channel for that figure but i think this is the same size as that super vegeta so that if that's the case obviously that shows that they've really improved on the size and scaling for clear eyes which this is a good size for a figure of, at this amount do I think he's worth the $30 amount with everything that we've talked about so far? I don't know. Um, I would say the size and scale is like a four out of five. Uh, it's not not bad, but you know, could be better. Um, he's almost as tall as my uh, Master Lee's ones, uh, but they do scale a little bit bigger as well. So keep that in mind. He is a cheaper option, but I think the Master Lee's ones overall are the better choice for a collection. But uh, yeah, with this in mind, is he worth $30? I don't think so. 20, 25, maybe. I think there's an argument there. So if you can get him at a bargain or something, I think that might be a, a really good option or you can win him in one of the upcoming giveaways. But I think overall, um, he's a decent release. He's one of the better uh, clear eyes figures, especially comparing to the beginning of the series. Um, I, I know I, I gave him a hard time when it came to paint and shading, but uh, I think I can walk away giving this figure a 3.5 out of five. Guys, thanks again for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please remember to like the video, comment your thoughts down below. And of course, share this with a friend, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget that we're doing a monthly giveaway. These are our prizes that we're doing this month for the giveaway. So make sure you become a YouTube member today, hop into the Discord server and take part in our giveaway on this date. But until the next video, guys, I will see you all later.